save his gold. Just there, first target, and we're on the gold here. Today we're going metal detecting in the creek system. The hills in this area and the flats unfortunately are too grassy, so I'm just going to concentrate on the wider creek system here. I might even hop up one or the other gully up on the hill to see if there's any gold up there. But my main focus will be on the main creek here where I found a two gram nugget a little bit further downstream. <laughs> I can see it! It's gold! And it's a nice size nugget! That's at least a two grammer! I pulled up in the headwaters here. Now it's time to explore the upper end of where the gold should have come from. It's been like that lately. Not many targets around. None at all so far. I've been detecting for about half an hour, but we'll keep looking. It's been long going, but I finally got my first target. It's stuck in a rock bar and therefore I'm thinking it could be a nugget. We're not too far from that spot where I found that two grammar. I think we've moved it. No target so far, and we're not too far from that two grandma spot. And this is a good sounding signal that came out of a go oh yes, it is gold. First target, and we're on the gold here with a small little sub grandma. That's our first piece of gold. Very happy about this one. Awesome start, since it's the first target. Probably not quite 0.2 of a gram. And I think it's a bit rougher than the first piece that I got out of here. There's a lot of dirt in between the targets here. Would have taken me about two hours to get this target. So I'll definitely continue detecting this system here. It's not too bad with the overgrowth in here. Hopefully we'll get another target soon. Chances are high it's gonna be gold again. I've been following this creek down for quite a while without any further targets until now. It sounds a bit bigger than the previous piece we've got. Well, I'm assuming it's gold already because I haven't got any rubbish. And this one sounds like a bigger target than the first nugget we got. That's one thing I really love about the GPX 6000 here. It's so sensitive. It pings shallow targets so easily and the signals are crystal clear. Didn't have any trouble hearing this one. Let's dig it out. Nice and shallow rock bar here. Okay, I gotta go right under the overhanging rock there. Oh! Yeah, we got it out. Sounds nice. Hopefully a decent sized nugget. Ah, oh, it is gold. Just there. Oh. Ah, oh, there. Oh. I should concentrate a bit better. Here it is. Ah, it's a flat piece. That's why it was so noisy but definitely gold. Maybe not quite as big as it sounded, but I'm still gonna say close to a gram. That's the third piece I got out of this creek here. First one was a two grammer the other day, 
and then we got that sub grammar earlier so three pieces now yeah it really looks a bit more rugged than these places here with lots of cracks and crevices where the gold could be hiding anywhere in the tiniest little cracks here yeah i'm very happy about this one and then we're coming into a nice pool there might even stop there for a little refreshment I didn't bring a nugget container so I'm just gonna put the gold into this bottle which is pretty much empty I'm halfway through my water now I'm not gonna go all the way downstream plus there's a live tenement coming up anyway so instead I'm just gonna take the next branch and cut back up upstream towards the quad and that's just because I'm halfway through my water and I don't want to dehydrate out here there's more water at the quad Let's go and try and fill up this nugget container. Hard and hot going out here without any targets until now. Wow. Yeah, I put my detector in the spin effects. Not a good spot. Oh, it's a shotgun pellet. Well, it's either a flattened uh, shotgun pellet or half a shotgun pellet, but I think it's more flat. Just lead. Have a look at this. I just came back to the quad and the lid is covered in ants. That's my esky here with uh, only water and a tin in there but the ants are after the wings from the flying bugs Yeah, those flying bugs around the lights at night they come back almost every day Only a few inside Yeah, like you can see, it never gets boring around here. I can spend plenty of time detecting you during the day. And even when I come back here in the middle of the day, there's still plenty of things to do. I never get bored. Yeah, today was a bit of a humid day. I only spent half a day out there. It's the healthiest for me. And I'm not too keen on heading back there tomorrow. So I've got a different spot in mind for tomorrow. I'll try something new. But as long as I'm still picking up gold every day here, I'm quite happy. So we've got two nuggets today, uh, one smaller one, one bigger one, but I think I'd be lucky if it's a gram. Some uh, nice and shiny golden nuggets here and they are probably looking so golden because I gave them a good clean in my uh, water bottle. All right, let's put these on the scales. My guess for the smaller one is going to be, oh, I'll be pushing 0.2, so I'm going to say 0.18. Yeah, not quite. Point 
0.16 it is. The bigger piece here, I know it easily looks like a gram, but it's very flat and it's got a few hollow spots in there as well. So I don't think it's going to be a gram. My optimistic guess would be 0.8 of a gram. Point 0.7 of a gram, so not quite a gram for today. Between point 0.8 and point 0.9 of a gram. So unfortunately we didn't make it over the magic mark of one gram today. It's still pretty close and I'm keen to head back out again tomorrow morning early again. If you don't want to miss out on these future adventures, please subscribe, give this video a like, stay safe out there and then I'm gonna see you in the next one.